I think the first thing uh, potential uh, authors should think about is, is to honestly look at the empirical data that they have and ask what is surprising. But we're looking for papers that really can, can explain things that, are, that current theory doesn't explain very well. I'm certainly always happy to see a paper which is examining something which seems to me to be important. Ones that, that walk the reader through the thought process of the authors. What were their initial hunches? What were their initial things they thought were going on in the background? What are the things that they would maybe put in the drawer because they didn't know how to explain them in the past? And then how did that evolve over time? Studies where people found something that couldn't really be explained very well by any one particular theory or even combinations of theories. And try to show that in a kind of a careful way. So in other words, try to really document things trying to rule out different alternatives. It doesn't have to be a glamorous uh, research setting, but it has to be a way of looking at a phenomena that you've been studying in, a, I think, a, diff a different way. We're looking for, for, for plausible explanations and not confirmation. And uh, rigor in the methodology, of course, is one of the expectations of the journal as well. If I have a rigorous approach to my methodology, can that exploration of that data refine into an absolute gem, a diamond. Those are the papers that we want because those are authentically abductive studies.